Hey everybody, Joel, Moose Droppings by ImportSauce.com. Uh, today we have a uh, treble code uh, P0193, which is fuel pressure sensor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and knock it out. It's pretty easy. It's only going to be one uh, torque bit and a new sensor. So uh, stick around and we will uh, show you what it's all about. Okay, so uh, we've had this code for a while. It comes on and off intermittently. Um, and uh, the uh, signs, besides the check engine light that you're gonna see on your dashboard, and pulling the code, uh, P0193, is going to be, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of misfire, a little bit of uh, shuddering, a little bit of, you know, kind of crappy performance on there. Um, and these sensors are, are notorious for it. So uh, if you go to the forums, you poke around, uh, just change the sensor. It's uh, like 20 bucks or, or whatever it is. Um, and, and that's 99.99% uh, of the time uh, is going to be the issue. Uh, so let me just show you uh, where it's at, how to get to it, and uh, quick and easy fix. Have the part number down in the description below. Okay, so easy enough, this is on the Volvo XC60, um, but this is going to be the same pretty much on any Volvo uh, later models, right? Um, it'll be the same on a 70, it'll be the same on a 40, it won't be the same on a 69. Um, so easily enough, the fuel rail runs uh, right uh, behind uh, or above the intake mani there. So these plastic covers just uh, pretty much grab them and pop off like so. And uh, you'll find your fuel rail right there on top. And bingo right there. Give you one guess on what's holding that thing in. I uh, can't see it with the camera, but uh, you guessed it. It's a T25. So, um, we have the new one. I know uh, URO isn't the best uh, choice, um, but you know, that's what they had locally at the store and I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in. So, uh, torque bit and then uh, it's kind of tight up against uh, the um, stuff there. So I'm just gonna use this little flat guy and get in there and get it going. From here, you can remove the sensor. Give it a little wiggle, a little pull, and remember, the line is pressurized, so fuel will come out. It's not enough that you're gonna need a catch can, but just be prepared for that excess fuel to squirt. We can remove the sensor from the harness. Depress the push down tab, you can grab and pull it apart. Lastly, we can put everything back in reverse order.